Hello, I'm Ikele Treats and welcome to my video. I am a stay-at-home mom of two, Earl, who is four years old, and Erin, who is two years old. I am also a marine wife, and my husband is at work at the moment, so he's not in my way. <laughs> and the kids are napping, so that's also a plus. But I'm going to be cleaning in this video. This clean that I'm doing, I normally do about twice a week. Um, in this particular video, I did not do it twice a week, so it's a lot that I had to clean. But I normally clean my kitchen at least four times a day, and I like to straighten up the rest of my house. Um, so there's at least nothing on the floor or on the counters every night. I do not like to go to sleep with my house messy. But on this day, guests had just left, and we got lazy, and we did not do the normal clean that we normally do, would do every day. So it's going to be a little messy, for me at least. And let's get right into the video. We just moved into this house not too long ago, so it's not fully furnished. So don't think that it is because things will be changing day by day as it already has since I recorded this video. In the kitchen, I also had put the dishes inside of the dishwasher and wiped down the refrigerator, oven, microwave and dishwasher with the stainless silver cleaner but it did not record at a good angle so i did not add it in the video i figured i'd just let you guys know that i did do that Now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the dining room. I'm going to clean the table off and dust it off. I'm going to also sweep the floor. And I have also made some changes to my dining room since then. I have a rug under my table now. And I also have a table in between the two chairs right there by the window. And I have a lamp in the corner of the chairs. Since recording this video, I have also changed the buffet area. 
I now just have a mirror up there and then I put some more fall decor up there. Um, in this whole video, I'm changing little summer flowers and things to fall flowers and things. I didn't put much because I'm more so focused on getting my big furniture in, but I did want to bring a little fall into the house. This mop bucket does not go with this mop head, so that's why it's not spinning. <laughs> I can't find the bucket that goes to this mop head, so I'm just going to have to buy another one. But until then, this one will work. I'm just going to have to Ikea rig it to make it work. <laughs> I'm now into the living room where I'm going to clean off all of the glass with Windex. I'm going to fluff up my pillows and vacuum the floors. I'm also going to switch out the summer centerpiece that I had on the coffee table to this little fall one just that I got from Walmart. I don't like to put much on my coffee table because of the kids. So I have to put just small decorations here and there. I'm also going to be mopping the living room once I'm done with all of this. I noticed that I did not buy a fall piece to go on top of this little table right here. So I'm just going to end up putting the summer flower back until I go back to the store and find one.
Now I'm just going to give you an overview of the second floor, which is the kitchen, dining room, and living room that you just seen me clean. And we're going to go ahead and make our way down to the first level. This is the first bathroom that you enter as soon as you walk into the house. It's a half bath and it's a really awkward angle so I couldn't really record in there. But I did clean the half bath and I did pull up the rugs and the tiles out of there to take them to the washing machine. so sorry this plant is in the way of the camera I did not notice it while I was recording but I didn't want to delete the footage because you could still see a good part of it This is our guest room that we're in right now, and that couch that you see there, that's a sofa bed. It turns into a queen, and I'm just going to give it a quick vacuum and a little wipe down and the things that needed to be wiped down because it doesn't really get messy in here. We don't have guests that often, and when we do, they normally clean up after themselves. <music> We are now entering my husband's game room like he likes to call it <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you that it needs to be vacuumed and wiped down really well because guess what's also in here I also have some a little clothes and a little bit of shoes that my son can't fit anymore that I'm gonna go ahead and donate so that's why they're sitting there and then I'm gonna move it to the front door and then outside eventually
So now that that's all finished, I'm just going to go ahead and mop the entry right here where we get the most traffic with shoes on because nowhere else in the house you can wear shoes. And then I'm going to go ahead and dump that water outside and then we're going to head to the third floor. Right now I'm just showing you the messy toy room because the kids made this mess before they took their nap and I'm gonna actually just clean it up and wax all their toys down like I do every day because I have to they put the toys in their mouth and it's just germs so I always have to wax all them down and then I'm showing you the bathroom because I'm gonna end up taking these rugs up to throw them in a wash really fast and then I'm gonna go back and clean the toy room and I also have redone the toy room since this video. Um, I've redone a lot of things in the house since this video, but the toy room is one of them. I wasn't liking it, and it was just too much stuff. I've also took away some toys and getting room for more toys because Christmas is coming and there's toys they don't um, play with anymore. So I'm just donating things that we don't use anymore.
As I'm cleaning the bathtub, you'll notice that I don't clean the tile today. And that's because I had just did it um, a few days ago. And I don't clean the tile every day because only my son used this bathroom. So it doesn't really get messy like that. Besides the toilet, the toilet gets really messy. Potty training two boys. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't clean the tile in this video. I just clean the tub and that's it. Now that we're moving on to the toilet, I will be using the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner for the inside of the toilet. And I'm also going to be using the Clorox disinfectant wipes for the outside of the toilet. Um, sorry if you can hear the kids in the background, they just won't let me record this. But the reason why I do not use... Um, rags or sponges or anything for the toilet is because I do not like to use anything that's reusable I just feel like it's nasty it carries a lot of bacteria and I don't want that kind of bacteria I noticed that the toilet doesn't look dirty but it is to me because as I said before I'm potty training two little boys so they get a little messy sometimes so I clean this toilet about every two days if not once a day At this point, I was really tired and didn't have any more energy, so I decided to just start folding some clothes because I have been washing all day, and I was waiting for the kids to wake up be from their nap before I could start to vacuum and get in their room, and so I'm just going to fold some clothes and watch some TV, and it's so many clothes, so I'm not even going to show you me folding all the clothes, but um, my room... I hate my furniture in my room. I cannot wait to redo my room. This furniture has been with us for about five years now. And it's furniture that my husband picked out without me. And it was good five years ago. But now it's so dark. And I just don't want it anymore. We need a bigger bed. This is a queen. We need a king. Definitely a California king at that. So, yeah. The boys are now up from their nap, so I'm going to make their beds. And I noticed that Aaron played with the blinds and messed with them before he went to bed. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to fix them. I absolutely hate making EJ's top bed. It's so annoying. <laughs> but I also have redone their room since this video. They now have a Superman room. They have a dresser in their room. They have things on their wall. That tent is no longer in their room anymore. Um, I'm just making it more kid friendly for what they like, more them, more their style. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this room, vacuum the rest of the upstairs up, make their beds. Their room really don't get as dirty because they have their toy room. So they play with their toys in their toy room. And if they do take a toy in their room, it's not the whole box. So their room is pretty easy. It should really just make the bed and wipe the TV down and vacuum. <laughs>
As I said before, I am potty training Aaron. So I keep a potty in his room because sometimes he's watching TV and don't want to stop watching TV to go to the potty. So I do give him an option to just go while he's watching TV. It's working out great for us. Some people think it might be crazy, but to each his own. You also might see EJ pop up in the video. He's just keeping me a little company while I'm vacuuming. He's going to also get in the camera a little bit. He loves the camera and loves taking pictures and things. So just ignore him. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and clean up the laundry room and get it back organized since it's so messy because I've been in and out of here all day. So I'm going to just clean it up, finish separating these clothes, wipe down the washer and dryer. Also, this washer and dryer came with this house. I don't like it at all. I wish I could have my other one from my old house, but we left it there. And we're just going to keep this one here until we move. Um, we're renting here because we own already another house but we got stationed somewhere else and we didn't plan on buying another one so for now this washer and dryer is going to work it does the job and i'm really tired after this so i'm just going to end up putting up the clothes and um i didn't even get to my room at in this video i was so tired i ended up doing my room the next day and i just decided i'll do a whole nother video on that because this video was already really long so i hope you guys enjoyed and will subscribe and like and comment and give me tips and feedback and i will also post more videos and different videos and diys and things with my kids and everything and again excuse how I look on this video excuse my hair excuse my floods everything I was complete disaster in this video I'm cleaning I'm home I'm comfortable I'm just chilling <laughs> see you later Thank you so much for watching my video and as I said before, please like, comment, and subscribe.